What's up, guys? Welcome to Behind the Grind. I go by Trip B. I've been rocking with Grind Mode Cypher for over 10 years now, with 30 ciphers under my belt. I've had the opportunity to work with artists such as Chris Webby, Daylight, Apathy, Blind Fury, Slain, Ren Thomas, just to name a few. These opportunities through Grind Mode Cypher have me approaching 2.1 million views and countless memories I will never forget. This is my homie and fellow Barrio brother, co-host of Behind the Grind, Johnny Concepts. Johnny's been featured in over 10 Grime Mode Cyphers, including Chris Webby Part 2 and Rex. Johnny's approaching three quarters of a million views on this platform. We are your hosts of Behind the Grind. Guys, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the Grime Mode Cypher channel. Hope you enjoy. Also, be on the lookout for me and Johnny Concepts EP, Super Barrio Brothers, coming soon. Lingo put me on to that, came out of retirement, show me where the party at, DME affiliated, bringing hard party rap, and so it's come to this, I climbed up out the gutter just to drag my ass a mile high and rip this motherfucker, word is born, I'ma keep it gutter till the world is gone, but as long as bitches spin guns, it's gotta be the first to bomb, yo, first you get the money, then the power, then the women, but you keep that ratchet handy, if they cross you, then you get them, hit them, never underestimate the other guys, greed, watch them overdose, they comatose, and hook the IVs, this is history, DME. Best to get them bars up Before you step the squad You be prepared to leave your scarred up Razor cuts and buck fifties Told you not to fuck with me Staying on my grind mode So lingo you just stuck with me Getting blazed with A-OK -okay. Frankie V can't smoke today But we gon' get them drunk as fuck Get on a boat and float away And rock a set with rock a set Paris here so that's a threat And you can bet that these motherfuckers Ain't even started getting it You don't want no parts of GMC I guarantee that If you cross the line I got that heat with me So watch it see that We don't give a fuck about no beef Unless we hit it but if you got some problems, you get buried in the streets, so let it be. What the fuck are you doing? What the, f what the fuck are you doing? You walk across, I'm, I'm doing something here and you walk across. What the fuck? You do not fuck with the lights now. Do not, do you do not fuck with the lights now. No, this, no. You, this is totally unprofessional. Do I come to your, do I come to your fucking house and fuck with your lights? Do I fuck with your, no, this is bullshit. Hey y'all, welcome to Behind the Grind, volume 14, where we peel back the curtain on your favorite Grind Mode affiliates. I'm Johnny Conte. I'm your boy Trip B. And today's guest, the man, the myth, <laughs> Guns, what's up man, how you doing? Hey yo, how's it going man? What's up? Good. And thanks for finally getting through. this done. Yeah, man, we finally getting this done. And uh, I just want to let the guests know, yes, you're looking at a new platform for Behind the Grind. We're going to try out the stream yard for a little bit. And uh, Guns, you're going to have the first episode of the new platform. We do have a little lag, but it's not too bad right now. Hopefully that's as bad as it gets. We'll be all right. So Guns man, is the new way to go. That right. Hey, Guns, man, how did you get the name Guns? And uh, when did you get into hip hop and all this? Oh, man. I, I was a kid. I started writing. It was a release for me when I was sitting in alternative schools. I got in trouble a lot. So I started writing just your basic rock lyrics, any, any song I could write. From there, it moved into hip hop. I started listening to a lot of rap, believe it or not. MC Hammer, Easy e things like that started coming my way as a kid. And, and it just grabbed my attention. I would say I was maybe 12 or 13. I started writing and shit. The rest is history. The name Guns. I would say uh, it's kind of something that kind of stuck. Tommy Guns. People just called me that growing up, and it stuck. And you go look it up right now. How many T Guns are there out in the world? Tommy Guns are there in the world right now? There's only right. one Guns. That's me. Heard that? Yeah, man. That's what's up. You just removed the Tommy and just started sticking right to Guns. It's definitely uh, a catchy name. Makes you want to click play when you see the artist repping a name like that. You want to see what they're all about. But that's dope, man. What, when did Grime Mode come along? A couple of people executive included my son tried to point me the direction of grind mode pretty early on I, I would say 2016 or so uh i looked the direction and my dumb ass just didn't pay attention like i should have right. a couple years later i was looking for some underground music to listen to I happened to cross a uh diabolic cypher just as dead and from there i it that i i was stuck i was hooked definitely and that's all that's a dope cypher to like uh be introduced 
to the grind mode entity, which is really dope. Diabolic is one of the dopest MCs, I think, around. Just to kind of piggyback off that, one thing that we always, like, forget to ask, and that I feel like a lot of people want to know, is where are you from, Guns? And, like, talk about, like, coming up in the rap scene in your hometown. My hometown was was, was uh, complicated. I, I'm, I grew up north of Dallas, a city called McKinney in Texas. I would say in the 90s, it wasn't really what it is now, of course, because, you know, the 90s was what it was. It'll never be the same again. What the fuck? Somebody just threw Who's something. Shooting guns? Who's shooting guns at the house? Somebody's shooting guns? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's always an adventure around here, bro. Fucking crazy. Uh, McKinney, Texas in the 90s. Small town then. It, it, we call it Mac Town. The hip-hop scene there really wasn't shit in the 90s. In fact, I would be confident enough to say that I was probably one of maybe two or three people that were even writing or rhyming or doing anything growing up. The other ones, let's just say I eliminated pretty quickly. Right. <laughs> oh, we ended careers, okay. <laughs> hey, fuck the rest. Exactly. So that must have been really tough then. If, if you were like a, one of the only people doing it, how did you like uh, get on shows and, and things of that nature? Honestly, I didn't. I, I played a couple, you know, you know, you know, those parties that come up, house parties and shit. Honestly, I felt like I was probably cut off from a lot of the rest of the hip hop community just because of not only my own bullshit fucking around, getting in trouble. But it was it, I mean, come on, it's Dallas in the 90s. Right. <laughs> right. So, yeah, that must have been a struggle on its own, like, because I know for a fact coming up for me, a big part of my inspiration I was able to draw off was from the local scene around and from other cats who were doing it. And uh, I kind of looked at the scene back then, like I look at the gym now, like working out. It's like like when I try to work out and flex at home, I don't get much done. But if I'm around other people who are trying to accomplish the same things and like do the same type of things, I feel like I achieve my goals much faster and, and get in like, you know, that frame of mind much faster around much more like minded people. So must have been tough to like stick to the hip hop and, and stick to your guns unintended to uh, yeah. stick with the hip hop. Yeah, it had its moments. I uh, I don't like to say, I don't like to use the term that I gave up, but I did lose a lot of faith in hip hop, mostly just due to the commercial scene that, that was coming around. I mean, there was a time that you would turn on the radio here in the Dallas area and out of a 25 song playlist, Lil Wayne was on every one yeah. of those songs. Oh yeah. And, uh, I turned it off and I was done. I, I really just didn't want anything to do with it. And I started focusing on uh, other forms of entertainment a as a possible career path. So to kind of piggyback off that, so you're listening to artists, you're turning off Little Wayne. So we we obviously know Little Wayne is not going to be on your list of right. artists Fuck that no. you would collab with. <laughs> so who are top five dead or alive artists that you would collab with any genre? Oh, man. I I'm glad I'm glad that, that dead is on that list because I think most of them are all dead. Anybody who's alive, I can I can try to make it happen, and I'm gonna try to make it happen. Facts. And I think I think they're they're all on grind mode, 95 percent of them. So there you go. I mean, you know, you got Pop, right. you got Easy E. Right. I, I would love to have worked with DMX. That was a huge disappointment. The Big L, just, that would have been fucking amazing. And uh, Axl Rose. Oh shit! Here you go, I Axl Rose. Think, think be I like that. I like Axl Rose a lot. That's a good one. Right? He's an asshole, but, you know, great musician. Right, right. Hey, you only gave me three, bro. What do you mean I gave you three? I said Pac, Easy, Big L, DMX, and Axl Rose. That's five. Yeah. Oh, wow. If you need what to learn, fuck how you to learn how to count. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we got that up north um, schooling. And uh, <laughs> only thing I know how to count and add up is grams. So, grams and ounces. Makes sense. But uh, but no, man, that's awesome. All right, so before we get into um, the rest of like the regularly scheduled interview, I want to take a break real quick and talk about, um, we just had a, a Grimo Cypher event down in uh, Oklahoma, and um, we were kindly invited to um, Gun's Crib out in Oklahoma, or Smokelahoma, as the affiliates like to call it. And uh, we, we, it was the first time besides the lingos that uh, uh, another person had actually hosted a Grimo Cypher event, and uh, it was really dope. The hospitality was really dope. The food was really good. The ciphers were dope. Uh, but there was some other shit that was going down that day, was there not? You could definitely say that. Uh, we, we may have had a couple of little small fires. They were put out pretty easy, I would say. Uh, yeah. Of course, it depends on which fire you're talking about. 
Right. You know, as most people that are, are linked in with Grind Mode and the affiliates really know, it has been made public that we cut, uh, we are one member less as of the past few weeks. Uh, yeah, man, just some, just, you know, Grind Mode's a family and uh, the things we stand for around here, our morals, some of them were broken, we should say, out in Smoke, Oklahoma. And, uh, yeah. and Guns and his wife did an excellent job of, of smothering some fires. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man, how shit would have went down if it was uh, my crib and stuff, man. I knew I know you got real upset. Uh, I saw you come around with your namesake around the corner with your namesake there. If you catch my drift and uh, and just things were getting a little heated for a moment, man. You want to speak on that at all? Yeah, let me. Uh, in fact, hold on. Hold on. Because, you know, it, there's only one way to get real, right? Oh, shit. Let me drop the shit. You know, you know. I take the word friends, family, loyalty. Those are very serious words. And, uh, you know, if somebody breaks that shit, uh, it, uh, it crosses lines with me. And, and I don't know, sometimes maybe I go overboard with it. This incident you're talking about, somebody was disrespectful here at my home. My first instinct is, well, handle business. I guess this is kind of hard to describe. Yeah. Somebody said something disrespectful. I right. caught wind of it. Mama G caught wind of it. Right. Executive caught wind of it. Right. These people that were disrespectful weren't in my eyesight. I was around the corner on the other side of the house. I guess they were preparing to leave, but not seeing them and then hearing a loud bang from the side of my house and knowing that my son is over there and I'm over here and I can't see shit. First instinct, grab the banger and head that way. Facts. Guns, real quick, I want to I want to run back for these people. Let me take myself out of uh, solo. So so what, what had happened was... Mama G, shout out Mama G, um, and Guns. Like I said, they let us into their home, right? One or two of the affiliates who came into the home immediately were disrespectful. And and that was kind of brushed under the table for a bit. Uh, you know, dudes you don't know, you don't know the vibes, you don't know how to take it, you don't know if they're joking and said in jest, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let it be, right? Continuously, I guess, another time or two throughout this event, the, the same individual was kind of, you know, breaking the code. Was he not Guns? Yes. And then this is when we finally, uh, when Mama G and Guns finally caught wind of, of the uh, the disrespect. We asked the fucking kid to leave. He was backing up. He smashed into one of the affiliate's uh, rental cars. And, nice uh, rental car, too. Yeah, facts to die. What was it, a charger? The fucking Challenger, man. Challenger, that's right. Yeah. And so, and so this is what we're speaking on, man. And, and, uh, and guns had the unfortunate situation of like being put in the middle of all this. So, so why he's saying, you know, it, it is hard to describe or whatever, because it was very emotional for everyone that was there. Being an affiliate, being a big part of grandma, like I am, it, it got very emotional for me. Uh, seeing Mama G in the state of mind she was, calming her down, seeing executive in the state of mind he was, guns on the rampage, like shit got real. So, uh, like we said before, the fire was pretty much smothered. We went about our business, did we not? And I guess, oh, yeah. whatever else you want to elaborate on. I know that, uh, and, I, and, and this is something actually I've wanted to address for a while because I'm very appreciative of everybody that was there in, in the entire Grind Mode family. And this is why it's Grind Mode everything. I've never in my life had a situation come up that when I was on my way to address said situation, however I may address it, I've never had people stand in front of me and my obstacle or my, my situation, uh, my opponent, anything. Nobody has ever stood in front of me to where I don't have to deal with that situation anymore. And my grind mode family did that. I came around the corner, uh, unfortunately, gun in hand. I do that sometimes. Uh, <laughs> and they literally formed a wall in front of me and the incident that I was heading towards. And I, I just immediately knew that I didn't have to worry. It was taken care of. And, and man, I'm just grateful for that. It's it's something that's gonna I'm gonna remember that for the rest of my life. Absolutely. Can I say something quick too? Of course, bro. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so like I, I wasn't there, obviously. I don't know exactly what happened. I've heard stories, obviously. But uh, one thing I do wanna say is uh can you put me solo on, on the on, on the screen? Uh one thing I wanna say is that as a grind mode affiliate, you need to act professionally at these events, okay? Facts. <laughs> 
whether you're lingo or or just like an uh an MC on this on the first cipher, you're there representing grind mode and you're representing lingo's business and lingo's entity. So anything that acts that is going on negative is going to go negative on him and on the the cipher series as as a whole. So you need to act professionally. Like you can have fun. That's what the, that's what this is all about. But you don't do things that are gonna disrespect another individual. That's gonna disrespect a venue or disrespect anybody for for, uh, for that matter. So um, I do want to shout out Guns for for holding out that event out in o Oklahoma and uh, um, keeping it as professional as you can be and and handling those situations and smothering those fires. So shout out to you, bro. Yeah, facts. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> That's the type of shit I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, you never know, yo. Oh, one, you ever watch Mr. Rogers? Another inspiration. Yes, of course. Go ahead, Johnny. One, one more thing, too. Um, Back to, like, uh, acting professionally. Not only does that put, like, a negative light on things, but you could also be burn bridges with places. Right. Like, like that yes. could have easily affected Lingo's relationship with guns, and we could have never did a, an event out in Oklahoma ever again. Facts. You know? So, um, definitely to all the affiliates, all the fans, act professionally at these events, please. Facts. Big time. And during interviews. Yes. And during interviews, especially, especially. But yeah, no. What, what was what was really uh, surprising was like, yeah, man, like what you said about the the wall. What you said about the wall in front of you, I don't think those kids left, you know, having the highest, you know, regards for grind mode after that and vice versa. So fuck the rest, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well. And it's a shame. I, I literally just bought dude's, uh, dude's demo tape or whatever. Like I paid for it the night before. Right. See? So, you know, hey, we, we, we can support each other or we could throw each other out the fucking window. It can go either way. Right. Yeah, man. I just want to, uh, real about the event as well. Um, about the event like it was really dope man i like having the uh like venues are cool and whatnot but like having having the home feel to to one of the events when we already feel like a big family it's like it's literally like a family reunion cookout you're having in your yard whether yes. you're at your first cypher second cypher uh 15th series or whatever and like obviously the more you you get involved with us at grind mode the more you're gonna feel at home the more you're welcome like you know, everybody's welcome to be a part of this. Uh, if you just started rapping six weeks ago, um, we're going to welcome you into our arms, man. That, that's how we are over here. We show love and support. Uh, we give criticism when necessary, but but we are a big family. Sometimes shit gets a little wild, as uh, as it did in Smoke, Oklahoma. But yeah, I just felt like we should have addressed that. And uh, we also had to get rid of another crab. Um, we don't remember you. We don't remember you. Nope. Oh, so uh, it's sale, uh -oh. man. You want to speak on that at all? I can, I can, you know, I'll, I'll touch on it just a little bit because, uh, you know, everybody that had involved, it's their own personal situations, and this person that was involved at the front of it is good, was a good friend of mine. You know, I have no problem admitting they're a friend of mine, and that's what I was saying before. The problem with friends is they can stab you in the back. I take the word seriously, friend. If right. I call you my friend, I plan on you being there for life. Right. Uh, cross that line and you know you gotta go in this case motherfucker i don't even think i have to name the motherfucker yeah, All no, I can don't say give him no promo don't give him no promo yeah there you go you're not gonna see a motherfucker jump around in the videos sweating right. on the affiliates right he, 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 ain't nobody bringing no motherfucking condiments right ain't nobody <laughs> fucking bringing no fucking sailing equipment ask him because i know he's gonna watch this motherfucker of course Who jacked you i heard you got jacked out there in oklahoma Oh wow! We'll jack you. Watch for that right. hashtag, man. It's all summer. Guns is in your face all summer. I'm gonna have that hashtag too, That's just for summer. him. Facts. All right, man. Let's uh let's get back on track a little bit. Hey, I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, speak on those situations. I know a lot of the people that were there um at the event are gonna uh enjoy hearing your side of the story and stuff like that. So, so kudos for that, man. Um yeah. So let, let's let's change it up a little bit. So back to like your yourself as an artist, if there was one thing about yourself as an artist that you would want to change, um, what would it be and why? Oh, wow. Bro, that's a good fucking question. That sure is. Have you asked anybody else that question? I, I don't uh, believe we have. Curveball. 
You know what? Uh, let me answer that question with an action. Oh, I shit. What, what happened? There you go. Is this still guns? Hey, you, there's no proof. You never know. That's that's the point. No, <laughs> uh, what, would you, what would you change? Oh, man. The decisions I think, that I made. I think he was being serious, bro. The decisions <laughs> you made? Like, like, elaborate on that. What kind it, of decisions? Like, musically decisions? Coming up. It, 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 music, entertainment, it, career-wise, all together in this whole thing. The decisions that I made that held me back for as long as they did and kept me away up until eight months ago when I got with Grind Mode and made something happen. Because honestly, I was nothing until Grind Mode. So if, if I could change anything, it would be the decisions I made that fucked me up until, you know, last year. Word. Word. I like that. Yeah, so... uh yeah, man. Uh, everyone, you know, procrastinates, and I, and you're not the first affiliate that has said, um, "Yeah, I was watching Grimo for a while, and then and then finally I decided to hop on an opportunity." It's like, I, if everyone could like come to an event the first time they saw Grimo, and then like they could come see what it was about, da da da. Like you guys would sign up right there. Like you guys yeah. would come see what it was about, da da da. Boom. All right, where do I where do I sign? Like, um, so I highly suggest you guys sending in your music to Sunday Night Grind live streams. Uh, it's uh, Sunday Night Grind at gmail.com. Send in your music um, and get on one of these ciphers, man. Now, Guns, you said you were um, with Grind Mode for about eight months. You've done about 10 ciphers in that eight months' time. I don't believe anybody's done 10 ciphers within eight months ever for Grind Mode. I, I don't not. believe anyone besides Lingo has ever held an event besides Grime Mode. So, so what does that feel like to to have just started with this large movement and already become such an integral piece to the puzzle? It, it, I'm on top of the fucking world, man. Y'all thought I had an ego before? Uh, I'm walking <laughs> around here like a fucking cock in a walk, man. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Look, it's it's. Uh, I'm honored, man. I feel like. Uh, it's the best time in my life right now. You know, it, it, it's a feeling I've never fucking known as many different things as I've done in my life, man. I've, I've never really accomplished much of shit. Now I feel like I've accomplished more than I ever have. And yet in a very short amount of time, it's, it's just off and running. I, I just said the other day that it might end up being too much at once. And honestly, I'm okay with that. I hope it is. Right. Yeah. It's a good problem to have. Right. Facts. So, um, are you gonna are you an executive? Aren't gonna be able to make the uh, the Carolinas? I'm planning on making both of them. Uh, oh, word. He he's got to he's got to do his thing and, and make sure that he can make some future ciphers because I know we have some other events coming up in the future that's uh, looking real nice. Yep. Uh, and I'll be honest, I was gonna at ten, I was gonna slow down, but then uh, it, something hit me. I think I'm on a I'm on that fucking runner's high now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going. <laughs> So I just right. signed Here's up for up. 11 and 12 in the Carolinas, North and South Carolina. And then after that, I'm just, every event that I can make, I'm going to make. If I got to fucking walk there, if I got to, however I got to get there, man, I'm on it. I'm trying to do the same thing, man. I'm taking a, I'm taking a little hiatus uh, for this month. Some personal things going on and, uh, and whatnot. Also cash flow, obviously. Um, so if you're watching this, uh, cash apps, product of America, you can help fill my gas tank and get me around to some of these ciphers. Appreciate it. No, I'm just playing, but I'm not at the same time. The pork the cause. <laughs> right. So uh, anyway, now I just wanted to get Johnny off while he was half dead. So, uh, <laughs> um, shit. What was the next question? We asked the five artists that are alive. All right. So, guns, man. Uh, now that you've been around eight months, you've done ten ciphers, signed up for number twelve. Um, you've gotten to meet a bunch of the affiliates. They were in your living room, sitting on your couch, smoking dabs. So who are who are five of the affiliates, um, even if you've been on ciphers with them or whatever, that you would like to see yourself working on like a project with? Oh, man, there's uh, God, man, the, the possibilities there. Uh, right. I'm a big fan of Mo Ruckus. I, okay. I, I like his work. I like the way he uh, from from his early ciphers all the way to now, how, how his style has evolved. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Mo Ruckus on top of that list. Uh, guys like Prototype. Oh, yeah. I'd be, I'd say A-OK, -okay, but I got something in the works with A-OK -okay in the stash right now. What is that for? Did you count this time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's for my dude. <laughs> Jack D. Definitely oh, Jack, Jack D. D. Jack D. Frost. Yes. Yeah. That's what's up. That's a good list. 
Yeah. Now, um, your your son just released uh, an an album, or was it an EP? I don't know, like a mixtape. I don't know, but I uh, believe it was an album. Full circle, full, 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 full circle. circle. It's available on all platforms from Executive. Make sure you go get that. Um, I saw that you had a feature on there. Talk a little bit about um, working with your son and and, and how it is um, being like making music together, father and son. Good question. Oh man, that, that, that that's awesome. I think that's something that uh, honored. I'm in a very unique position to be able to do that. And and watching him develop into the MC that he's developed into is is just very fucking proud. It it, it blows my mind. I didn't teach him any of that shit, by the way. I just pointed him in the direction and he followed his own path, man. Oh, wow. If you can't tell, like the skill level should show that. Right. That kid's a fucking beast. Right. But it, yeah, working with him is just great. I'm a real pain in the ass to work with in the studio, too. Thanks. Y'all ever get to work with me in a studio? I'm an asshole. And it's probably even worse for him because he's your son. So you're probably like telling him what to do and all that. Right. I, I try to be nice about it, but you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, I'm, I'm I, getting one take out of me just ain't gonna fucking happen anymore. Right. Right. Maybe, maybe 15 years ago. Right. So it's, he's the one getting mad at pops because pops yeah. is taking all day to lay down the 16th. So then he's getting all aggravated, and then you want to retaliate, and then it just take five and shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go hit a dab real quick. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. <laughs> you spit this verse and change my mask and come spit verse too. Yo, I, I can only imagine how working with my dad would be like right. in the studio. And I can tell you it would not be fun. <laughs> so I'm happy to see that you guys have a good time in the studio together. And I think that's really dope. He actually like released the song with you on it instead of just like shelving it. Right? <laughs> That's actually the second song we worked on. The first one, I don't, I, I didn't like my verse on that first one, so I'm kind of glad nobody's really heard that one. But uh, yeah, this second one's definitely, definitely dope, and uh, yeah. it's a privilege, man, to to be able to work with my son on that because it's it's hopefully there's a lot more in the future. I don't plan on quitting. Yeah. Yeah. I know he are, we, so. are we gonna see a like father like son album? Maybe. You never know what the future holds. I I, I just made you a million dollars. You hear the right? name of that album? <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> Yo, uh, but yeah, I just want to tell the fans real quick, everybody watching, uh, that track that Guns um, Executive is featuring Guns on is called um, Too Much Blood, produced by Lingo, and you can find that on the F Full Circle Project. That's on. Uh, that's available everywhere, I believe. Um, yeah, man. Uh, you know what that sound means. It is time for Rapid Fire Fan Favorite Segment. Uh, sponsored by Brawlers in Clothing, and we're gonna start it off. Let's go with Big L or Biggie. Big L, man. Notorious B.I.G. or um, Big Pun. Big Pun. Wow. Okay. No, no love for Biggie right now. Okay. Right. Not yet. Oh, I love Biggie, but Big Pun. <laughs> okay. I feel it. Breakfast at a restaurant or dinner? Ooh, breakfast, man. Breakfast. I, I got to my own dinner. I heard that, bro. You only got one choice at this breakfast. You can only have a side of bacon or sausage. Bacon. All right, let's go with back to like, like or people. in sync. What the fuck? <laughs> we got to throw some weird ones in there, man. Boys to men. One. You better answer that. You said <laughs> boys to men. That's boys different, man. You cheated. You cheated. Coolie high harmony. All right, let's see. WWF, WCW. It depends on the era, but I'm going to probably stick with WWF on most of it. Especially if it's the F and not the E. Exactly. Sure. Attitude era all day. So let's stick on that then. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin or The Rock? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ricky Steamboat, Lex Luger. Oh, Steamboat, man. Steamboat. The Dragon, man. Not even close. I should have gave another legend. Tacos or nachos? Fucking tacos. Tacos. That's what I'm having tonight for dinner. He said uh, tacos. Now, chicken tacos, beef tacos. Oh, fucking beef, man. I'll go kill a cow right fucking now and take a bite out the son of a bitch. Y'all know. <laughs> Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis? Super Nintendo. All right, you say Super Nintendo over Genesis, but Sonic games or Mario games? Oh, shit. Mario. Facts. I, I, I'm all like, you know, culturally sensitive I, I like mario you know he's a good guy <laughs> yeah i prefer mario brothers too i like sonic too don't get me wrong but mario all day yeah man, he's a fucking rodent 
Barrio Brothers all day. Yes, Sonny. <laughs> I like to support the Italian community. He's a hardworking plumber, man. <laughs> exactly. And that bitch is always in another castle, that fucking hoe. <laughs> fucking yeah, bitch. Man. Yeah, we just had to rescue her not too long ago. Video coming out the 20th. You all see it soon. Really? The 20th. Tell that motherfucker Toad, he is, uh, Toad owes me 10 bucks, the motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, I heard if you lick Toad's back, you'll trip for like two weeks straight. They say that. You licking that motherfucker's back. Every, everything looks like Rainbow Road. <laughs> All right, let's see, man. Um, Hot dogs, hamburgers. Hamburgers. Rare. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Fucking flight, man. All right. Flight? Fuck yeah. I'm always bro. looking to get high. Yeah, facts. I would love to be able to fly. It'd be dope. If you had one wish, what would it be? Okay, Ray J. <laughs> you, 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 wow, you just fucking... Another 12 inches. Wow, really? <laughs> <Out of court? laughs> no, no, cut that out. How about just, uh, you know... <laughs> no, it's the same. No, it's the same. <laughs> How about never-ending marijuana? There you go. That works for me. I, I always right. have that, but that's okay. <laughs> go ahead, John. Uh, guilty or not guilty? No, I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> it depends. <laughs> not guilty, though. No like contest. Right. Um, no love. Mar Mario or Luigi? Oh. oh, shit. Probably Mario. I mean, he runs the show. It's the Mario brothers, man. <laughs> and their last name is Mario. It's the Mario brothers. And the last name is Mario, but Luigi got bars, son. Damn, Luigi got bars. Oh, man. Wow, Luigi's a good guy. I should have said Sonic. Right. I feel like Luigi just, like, goes, like, Luigi doesn't really care much about life. And, like, Mario's really into plumbing and shit. Luigi just goes to help him out. He has a better like, outfit. Luigi's yeah, Luigi's like grabbing his wrench for him and like smoking weed out in the back and shit. Mario's hard working in there and shit. I feel yeah. like, yeah. I like green, green overalls. I Facts. You know, hey. Facts. That's true. Metallica or ACDC? ACDC. Okay. Fucking Angus Young. That's a dude. Metallica. Metallica's great, you know. But yeah, ACDC man. Favorite member of Wu Tang. Method Man. Favorite front man of a metal band? Would you count Guns N' Roses as a metal band? I, I'll count Guns N' Roses because I fuck with them heavy, but no, I wouldn't count them as a metal band, but you can give me their front man. Fucking dude from Gore, what's his name? I used to love Gore back in the day. Their oh, Gore? Was awesome, man. I like their gimmicks. I like their gimmick, the Gore gimmick, the, the masks and shit. Yeah, it was fire. I think metal, and I think so many, you know, because those genres cross over a lot. Uh, with each other, like you know, it, it's sometimes hard to distinguish some of them. And they, right. every one of them, you know, it, it, it's it, rock music is all just one big cluster of fucking art. Kind of like where hip hop is going right now. It, it's it's it, it's just a great thing. Uh, so yeah, when I think of metal music, I think of all of these great rock bands that have contributed to it. Yeah, same thing with hip hop, like you said. Yeah, it's going in all kinds of different directions now. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, man. Uh, I got a couple more. Uh, basketball or football? Football, if I got to pick one. Okay. Not into sports. Don't do the sports. I I did, but it I lost interest in all kind of you know. Okay. Maybe Fair it's enough. politics these days. Who knows? Yeah. Right. Fair enough. Those guys Fair are enough. overpaid, man. I, I don't like watching overpaid motherfuckers do what I'll do for minimum wage. Yo, know, me and my yeah. wife. Yeah, me and my wife were literally just talking about that. She's like, I don't understand why athletes get paid so much to do something they love. No one else gets to do that. I'm like, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, we all got to do shit we hate to get paid, and we don't get shit. All right. All right. So, if, so if you can have a breakfast sandwich, is it going to be on an English muffin or a croissant? An English muffin, because I don't like the French. <laughs> <laughs> Yo... Everyone, yo, big ups to France. I know we got some followers out in France. So if you want to write guns a little hate mail right now, that's going to be at official guns at you Gmail. You won't be the first. <laughs> hey, that's going to uh, that's going to conclude Rapid Fire, my friends. Brought to you by Brawlers Inc. Clothing. Guns, thanks for participating. We got a couple more questions. Guns, we're going to let you get on with your night. All right, Guns, you're at a restaurant. There's six chairs. You're sitting at one of those chairs. You can have five other guests with you. They can be dead, alive, a cartoon, a fictional character from a movie. Um, could be an actor portraying a character. Whatever it may be, 
who is at that table with you? This is a big table. I've thought this through. And this is a big table. All right. Okay. So you got Tupac. You got Michael Jackson. All right. Uh, all five Dylons. <laughs> all right. Hunter Thompson. <laughs> Andre the Giant eating all the food that Para cooked. Okay. A couple of midgets. And then Superback busting the table for no tips. All Yo, right. <laughs> so hold on. So wait, the only one eating is Andre? You know, I've, I've heard stories, man, and I don't think anybody else is going to get a chance. Yo, real quick, have you seen the photo? Have you seen the photo of the of the beer can in his hand? Yes. Isn't that wild, man? Uh, dude, wild. If, if anybody who can sit and kill 140 beers in a fucking sitting within a couple hours, man, I'll yell. That's a French guy I respect. That's like the only French dude I respect right there. All right, I missed who else was there. I got Andre. Oh, so what is Para cooking? Like, what what is what is the food that Para's cooking? Know. You, you know, I hear Para's a badass cook, man. So I'm gonna leave that menu up to him. Facts. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, we bring it though, man, because you know I'm a hell of a cook myself. So if I'm gonna be sitting down eating somebody else's food, right? But then again, like Para used to be a much bigger dude, and I've always heard one thing about chefs: like you never trust a skinny one. No. No, and, and he's getting, you know, he's, he's losing some of his uh, frame. So I don't know how well he's really eating para. If you're he's watching got a live-in girlfriend. Right. He's doing too much exercising with, yes. with his girl, with Allie K. Shout out Allie. Shout out para. Yeah, they're going yeah. for hikes and stuff. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, who, mountains who's, shit. who's paying the bill at this table? Fuck, not me. <laughs> it's the usual. I'm getting up and leaving and, you know. I'm, What's up, executive? Um, so, yeah, what's going on, y'all? So, what's up? What's up? Um, so, guns, you're at a venue, you're performing. There's 300 people there, or you're at another venue where you're opening for your favorite artist. There's 2,000 people there. Which one are you going to? You said 300. Yeah, there's 300, and they're all there to see guns. At the other venue, the the other opportunity you got is to open up for your favorite artist where they're performing in front of about 2,000 people. Which opportunity are you taking? I'm going to be with my people. I'm going to be with the 300. All Those right. loyal to guns, that's where I'll be. Facts. Absolutely. What are you going to say to the artist that you were opening for that about how you can't make it? What's going to be your excuse? Pay me more. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what if, he, uh, what if he offers you more money? What if he says, I'll double your oh, payment? Oh, shit. You know, back yeah. me into a corner? Show me the money. <laughs> yeah. I gotta make. I gotta at least double what I was gonna make at the, my headlining show with the three hundred fans. Right, gotta make that. You gotta, you gotta cover three hundred more tickets. Right, facts. Yo, guns. Do you have any links or uh, any any music coming up? What do you got going on, man? I am working my ass off to get this concrete music out. It's it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a mixtape. It's Grand Theft Instrumental Concrete Music. It, it, oh, it's something cool. that I've been working on for a long, long time. Uh, it's going to be my first project to not go on cassette tape. So, uh, oh, shit. well, it'll be on cassette tape too, but it'll be the one, you know, first thing that I can actually get wide released out there. It's in the works, man. I got a few uh, features on there. Uh, I'm really trying to stay uh, as underground as possible. Like, you know, when you used to go to the fucking bootleg spot and get those tapes, that, uh, this is what the feeling I'm trying to bring back. Concrete right. music. Oh yeah, bro. Absolutely. Now, are you able to talk about who those features might be? Uh, you know, executives gonna be on there somewhere. Uh, right. <clears throat> a real big one I got that I'm really trying to get done right now is uh, the AOK feature, Frankie V, uh, Mickey Bourbon. I'm sure you already heard Invasion of the Shoddy Blasters. Yes. Uh, trying to get this thing with IB out there. We, we we got we got a few people. That's what's up. Yeah, I gotta say I like uh, you and Mickey's style together. Yeah, yeah, I, I love doing business with Mickey, man. I, I can't wait to do business with him again. Uh, and again with, with, uh, Jack D, I think, I, I think the three of us, if we can get Jack D, Mickey Bourbon and myself onto a joint, it, it, that's just going to be disgusting. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Hey, yo, Mickey, stop ducking. Um, stop ducking, man. And why don't you get some music done instead of the foot race thing? The foot race thing's not working out for you. So, uh, just get back into the collaborations, man, and, and hook up with Guns and Jack on some new work, man. Let's go. Right. You know, if you drink too much, you get a lower center of gravity. So running's out, you know, that's not an option. <laughs> hey, yo, Johnny died. Where'd he go? Oh, hey, man. R.I.P. <laughs> oh, there you go. 
All right, What's with the special effect, yo. He's trying. You stealing my gimmick, man. <laughs> Yeah, Johnny's doing fucking uh, seances in the background. <laughs> oh, pulling magic tricks and shit. Right. What do you got for shout outs, man? You want to do some shout outs? Yo, I want to shout out the entire Grime Mode Cypher family. Every affiliate out there. It, it ain't nothing right. like it. You see it behind me, man. We represent it here. Yeah, Grime facts. Mode. It, 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 it's everything, including my fucking wall. Right. Yeah, definitely best uh definitely best backdrop. Best backdrop award out of 14 episodes. Bro, I'm gonna fly the flag in my front yard. You have no idea. It is grind mode everything. That's what's Fuck up. Fuck the rest. Goddamn right. Yeah, I believe my signature is somewhere on that wall. That's why I, I tripped POA right there. I don't know if it, it's caught. The the light might catch a glare. That might be a problem. Yeah, that's how know. we do it. See it. That's too yeah, that's dark. How we do it. Trip POA. Lingo's yeah, was cool. right in the middle. Maybe, of... maybe if I adjust the camera. <laughs> you can pick it up. Why can't you... It's a cell phone. Just pick it up and move it. Bro, there was a, <laughs> bro, there was a mosquito on your screen real quick. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, don't get bit by that. Don't get bit by that skeeter. Yo, what about in the uh, in the Oklahoma ciphers uh, when, you, when somebody was holding one of the little weed plants up? My wife comments like on the pictures that somebody posted, and she's like, "Is that a prop weed plant?" <laughs> somebody was like, "No props here in Oklahoma." <laughs> you know, normally I would say that they were stunt dope, right? Right. But we're in Smoke, Oklahoma. They, they were, that was one hundred percent legit. That one, uh, the, the, a couple of those ones she saw, she may have seen that little baby one. Right. Was right. A, uh, that, that little one. That was GMO. That's, that's, oh, a, yeah. that's a very nice strain, very popular strain. It's a very nice plant. It's a micro grow. Oh, that's what's up. It's uh, in fact, I think that one's getting ready to be pulled here in the next couple of days. All those other ones, man. There was a nice variety. There was some Maui Waui there. There was some uh, some Acapulco Gold out there. Some purple oh. chocolate. Ooh, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was definitely it was definitely a smoke fest, man. We had a great time. We had a great time. I want to thank you again for having the whole family down there, man. Oh yeah. Oh man. Absolutely. Thank thank everybody for coming, man. It was like I said, it was. Uh, highlight of life right there that was definitely a moment and there's going to be more i'm already trying to get us ready for smoke Oklahoma too yeah we need to yeah we we all left with that knowing that you know that was going to be hopefully an annual thing you know yes. yeah let's do it all right man uh johnny you got any last words anything you want to say um no I, I just want to thank guns for coming out taking the time with us to uh to talk and um to, to talk and also taking the time to to uh host an event and helping expand in the grind mode, I want to thank you personally for that. Even though I didn't, I didn't get to make it out, but I was there in spirit. Facts. Yes. Um, and, and we'll uh, make sure you're here for the next one. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I definitely want to thank you for coming out. Um, everyone, go check out Guns' socials. Um, is there anything that we missed out on? No, all his uh, all Guns links will be in the description of the video below. Um, guys, make sure if you, you like. Really want to find me? Yeah, if you go really ahead. Really want to find me? You're gonna find me at Grind Mode Cipher. That's right. That's, that's right. It. That's that's my home. That's what's All up. Right. Man. I thought he was about to toss out the Addy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. Ten ciphers in eight months. So, uh, guys, up and comers, newly newly beginners, it's possible, man. It's possible. And you guys I'm not think even that good. Yeah, you know. Well, that's by your own standards, but you know. <laughs> but look at you now. Right, you know. Mama, I made it. I'm on. I'm on a behind the grind, Mama. I'm a fucking superstar. <laughs> That's right. Hey, man. On that note, bro, I think we're gonna get out of here, Guns. I'd like to have you back asap. So uh, maybe next season we could do like uh, on episode one or two. I'd like to have you and Executive come on together, maybe, and talk about some shit. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to switch it up a little for season two. But yeah, I also want to thank you with uh, with uh, sticking with us throughout the whole week and, and shit and uh, trying out this new platform with us. Um, it'll just get smoother as it goes, but I want to thank you for your patience and shit. I appreciate you. Oh, man, it's nothing, man. I, look, yeah. I've been waiting for this shit. For sure. This is, this is, this is <laughs> part, of, part of building this fucking uh, this, this cypher thing up, part of building this fucking channel up and the, the whole thing. So right. I want to see this brand grow. 
Me too, man. Me too. That's, That's why I get on here and act like an, uh, like an asshole while everybody else be serious. But, you know. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Yo, Trips, should, should we throw throw some shameless self-promotion in there? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. So, uh, so guys, um, dropping on June 20th, we have the official video for Stick Up, um, a track featuring myself and Johnny Concepts, a.k.a. the Super Barrio Brothers. It's a uh, seven-track EP coming out. Uh, it is an eight-track joint. One of them is a skit. We got seven tracks of music for you. It's going to be available everywhere. Um, so, like I said, June twentieth, the official video for Stick Up, and uh, Johnny, when does the uh, EP drop? So the EP is going to be coming to all platforms July 9th. It is available for pre order right now. If you do end up pre ordering it, let one of us know. We'll see what we can do about getting you some extra prizes or whatever it may be. Um, to see like uh what we can do to to help out anybody. It's also going to be the video is going to be dropping on the Grimo Cipher channel, right? Am I not mistaken by that? Premiering on Sunday Night Grind on the 20th, yeah. All right, so, yeah, make sure y'all go look at that. Um, thanks, Guns, for coming through one more time. Uh, so just to kind of cap it off, this has been Behind the Grind, Volume 14. I am Johnny Concepts. I'm your boy, Trip B. We out. Peace. Grind mode everything. Fuck the rest. Yo, yo, yo. Shit, we're live. Look at we're we're matching. No, we're not live. Hold on. Hold on. Guns is up in here. Yo, yo. Getting there. Yo. Oh, what's up, fams? Say something else, not panorama. Yeah. Uh, what the hell's the name of that shit? Landscape. Vignet. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. Um, mine mine's a little crooked, man. I'm not happy. Hold on. What the fuck is this? The fuck is this? This is camo. I asked for olive drab. This is camo. I have camo on the shirt. I need olive drab. Olive fucking drab. What the fuck is wrong with you? Olive fucking drab. This is bullshit. Coming out of wardrobe and shit. Right. Let me adjust the camera here. Let me know. Yeah, what is that, that right? That looks good. All right, boys, man. I'm going to get out of here and go uh, try to pork my wife. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Hey, did you guys notice I've been changing the logo and shit throughout? Yeah. From grind mode to brawl gang and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Fucking, the future's great. So we're going to get out of here. Go take the dog for a walk and shit. <laughs> I'm going to uh, be man. heading out to Boston for Holmes' video shoot. You have to fucking tell them. This is all of fucking drab. This. This is all of drama.